Hello everyone, welcome to my trainer collection. Now, you probably know my obsession with trainers at this point. I am obsessed, obsessed is the right word. I have just become such a fan of trainers recently, probably in the last year. Um, I've always loved trainers, but I've become more of a kind of fan of buying different styles and having different styles and having different pairs of shoes that go with different things. and. Um, it's really made me into a bit of a sneakerhead, I guess you could call it, I don't know. Um, so I wanted to share them all with you guys because I get a lot of questions about my trainers and trainers I'd recommend and whatnot. So I thought I'd just go through them all, talk you through what they go with, etc, etc, why I bought them, whatnot. I apologise now if this is a long video, hopefully it won't be too long. I just want to run you through them all because I love them all, I have a lot of trainers. And I don't think that everyone needs as many pairs. I just have a real big obsession with trainers. It's like, you know how some people are bag people and some people like to buy lots of pairs of jeans or some people really like blazers. I'm a shoe person. I love my shoes. So, without further ado, I'm going to jump in. I'm not going to do this in any particular order, by the way. I'm just going to take them from my massive pile, which is sat right here. And I'm going to talk you through them. Okay, I'm going to start with the good old classic, Black Converse. I've spoken about Black Converse for years now. I freaking love them. I think they're one of the best pairs of shoes that I own. They go with everything. They're easy. I know that they'll look good. They go with like pretty much any style of jean. They go with trousers. They're just like a really good classic shoe and I really recommend. These are the Chuck 70s. I'm very much a picky person when it comes to my Converse. I only really like the Chuck 70s style. I don't really like the classic Converse. I just think personally, in my opinion, they just look a little bit cheaper. Um, these do give more of an expensive vibe and I personally think if you're spending the money on it, you might as well spend a bit more and get the more expensive ones. Um, I just think they look a little bit more cool, a little bit edgy. I have nothing against anyone who wears the other ones. I just personally prefer these. Um, I just think they look really cool. Mine have quite old now, they're quite scuffed, um, they're kind of a bit more yellow toned here, they are more yellow toned here anyway, um, but yeah, I love these shoes, they're amazing, one of my fave pairs, I also have these in a few other colours, so I will show you those ones now because might as well while we're here, pink, I've had these ones for a while, they don't look very worn, um, because they're definitely like a certain type of outfit kind of shoe, I do love this shade of pink, it's kind of like a... I don't really know what you would call it. It's a very purpley kind of pink, but I do love these. Again, they're in the Chuck 70 style. I freaking love them. I love the Chuck 70 patch. It's so, like, it feels, like, expensive, you know? So, I love the pink ones. The pink ones are definitely not as worn as much, but I do like to get them out every now and then. They go with certain outfits. And when I have something pink to go with them, they look fabulous. A pair that you will have probably seen on my Instagram recently, I didn't really do like a close up of them, are these bad boys. I don't think Converse sell these anymore, same with the pink ones. So yeah, I believe these were a limited edition kind of um, pair of Converse because they've got this like patch on this side, which they don't usually have patch. Yeah, these are Chuck 70s, but they're like a special style, I guess. Um, the leopard print is like velvety. Um, I love these, I think they're really cool. Again, a pair of shoes I don't wear a huge amount, but I'm going to try and wear them a bit more in the autumn winter time because they're a really good leopard print's like always a thing in autumn winter. So we love these, they don't get a lot of wear, but I do love them. I'm hoping to get some more wear out of them. I'm really trying to make sure I wear my Converse more and my shoes more and get more trainers out there because I keep forgetting about them. So love those ones. The last pair of Chuck 70s that I have in this style are my khaki ones. Now I have this thing for some reason of buying shoes and then them going out of stock and never being um, able to be found again because I always get questions on these whenever I wear them as well. Um, these are definitely an autumn shoe for me um, and I haven't really had the chance to wear them yet. Obviously we've only just really gone into September so I hopefully I can get some more wear out of them but I love the colour. Um, I love this kind of greeny tones i love green tones anyway if you follow me on instagram you will know i'm really obsessed with green at the moment i'm wearing green right now <laughs> um but yeah i really like these again they're exactly the same truck 70s with the same patch i just love them i just love a truck 70 if you're gonna buy a pair of converse highly recommend the truck 70s um and they are just really nice kind of expensive looking shoe while still being like 
semi affordable they're not like the most affordable trainers but they're a good price i think for a pair of converse and converse last forever until you've literally worn them to death so they're just really good pair of shoes to buy into the only other pair of no oh my god i thought i had less converse i've got more to show you this is really not good <laughs> um, i have these ones these are my little floral ones i'm not gonna lie i've not really got a chance to wear these um i find floral print really hard to style but i just absolutely adore these i think they're so cute and they're so like i do think you could wear these all year round as well because whilst yes they have floral print on them if you've got the right outfit they're gonna go with them um i really like them they've just got like a patch kind of um quilting style to them but I really like them, I think they're really cute. I'll obviously link everything below and find anything I can below that's as most similar as possible. Um, but I do really like these, these are really cool. I think they still sell these, so um, I'll link them below. But yeah, they've not had the best of wear yet. Um, like I said, trying to wear my shoes a little bit more. But I do love those ones. The final pair of Converse I have um, that aren't designer are these. These are the black low tops i don't actually know what they're called but they're the chuck 70s low tops um i'm not actually a biggest fan of these i find low shoes sometimes really hard to wear especially if you haven't got the right socks but i think coming into autumn winter i think these are going to be really useful for wearing with trousers and um like jeans and stuff like that i do really love the way converse look in the autumn winter i think just with like all sorts of like trousers and leather and all sorts of stuff i think they look really cool um so yeah i picked these ones up not too long ago um but i haven't yet found the right outfit for them i don't really like wearing these with dresses they're just not a bit of me but i do love them nonetheless and i'm hoping i can get somewhere out of them into the autumn winter so those are all of my converse i know i said i wasn't going to do them in any particular order but the converse is quite a lot so we've got the converse out of the way i do have a designer pair of converse but i'll show you those in a bit because um i'll do some of my designer shoes together maybe we'll see how we go <laughs> next up we have these gorgeous adidas as we go trainers i've had these for a while i actually love these trainers i bought these because my sister had them no i bought these because my sister mentioned them to me and then i was like i want them um so they look like this they actually do these trainers in so many different colors now when i bought these they didn't have that many colors um but i really really like them they're just like a nudie color i think they're actually called brown on like when you buy them they're called the color brown but they're not brown they're like nude um they might have changed that though since um but i really like this kind of like detail back here um i just love them i think they're really cool for me these are definitely a pair of trainers for wearing with joggers um and kind of more of a sporty chic kind of vibe um but that is just my personal preference for where i like to wear these i think they're really cool they give like a semi balenciaga chunky trainer vibe but they're not super chunky um and like i said they do them in lots of colors now so if this color isn't for you they do a khaki they do black they do all sorts of colors um so yeah i really like them i think they're really cool really 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 comfortable pair of trainers if you want something comfy highly highly recommend these um they're really really nice i honestly every time i put them on i'm like why don't i wear these more like why don't i wear these more love me my adidas oswegos i have another pair of shoes which have a very similar vibe um where are they oh yeah these which are the nike uh zoom airs i've not worn these a huge amount either um they're just a little bit of a different style to what i'm used to they're quite small trainers like in terms of like thin i'm very used to like my chunky balenciaga trainers so it takes a bit of getting used to trying different styles and like getting used to smaller trainers which is something that i'm definitely getting into now but i'm so used to wearing my chunky ones that like these were just really hard to style when i got them um but i love these i think they're so cute so these are like a really lovely pastel um pair of nike air zoom nike zoom airs i think is what they're called i surely should know um i really love the kind of like creamy tones mixed with the like mint and the lilac they're like pastel toned but you could wear these all year round which i really like they also do these in a white which is great if you're looking for something a bit more sporty and you want a white train that's a little bit more sporty they're really comfortable again really really like them i just think they're really nice i think they're a nice pair of shoes again saw my sister with these and then i bought them so thanks sis um she hates me when i buy the same shoes as her but you know 
she's style, like she's my style icon I guess but love these I think they're really nice a good pair of trainers if you're looking for something a little bit different that you haven't seen on everyone I do recommend these um they have this kind of cool bit here which is kind of fun <laughs> I'm gonna go with a good old classic a pair of shoes that I've actually this style of shoe I've owned for years Air Force I love a good pair of Air Force. I can't. I don't think you can go wrong. I used to wear them when I was at uni. They were very big when I was at uni, so back in like 2015, 2015 time, 2014, 2015. Um, I used to wear them at uni and they were really big then and then they kind of faded off and now they're quite big again. I love a good pair of Air Force. I think they're a really good pair of shoes. They go with everything. They go with jeans really, really well and they also go with dresses really well. And I think going into autumn winter, you can style them really coolly with like maybe a smart pair of trousers for kind of smart casual look. Also style it with dresses. You can also wear them with like leather trousers. I think there's just so many options when it comes to Air Force. So yeah, I love these. I have these ones. These are my newer versions. These are my nice Air Force. These are my, okay, I want to look nice. I want to look good. I don't want to look like a scruff. And these are my... I've had them for a while ones. Now they actually look different um, than these ones. As you can see, these ones look a bit gross. Um, these I think are the the girls versions, like the junior ones. Um, so they're a little bit smaller, which I actually do, I do like the way these ones look actually. I wear these more than I would wear these on a normal day. Um, but yeah, they do actually look different. They look smaller, but I think it's because they're the girls ones and these ones are like the normal Air Force. Um, so if you're looking for a pair of Air Force and don't want them as chunky, I recommend the girls ones. I think they go up to a UK size six, um, but they're so comfortable. You can't go wrong with a pair of Air Force. And they just, they do just go with everything. They do. Every time I go to the shop, I choose these. I love them a lot. Um, but yeah, these ones are really, really dirty. Um, and they're not as pretty as these ones, so. Yes, but Air Force are a great pair of trainers if you're looking for a really like easy pair of white trainers that will last you a long time, that are, you know, comfortable, highly recommend Air Force ones. Another pair of white trainers which are also quite good if you want a pair of nice pair of white trainers that are going to last you a long time. These are the Puma Cali Sports. Puma Cali's are actually really cool. They do them in a lot of different colours as well, like where like they'll just be like a coloured stripy bit here. Um... I think they're really cool. I don't often wear these ones because I do prefer my Air Force. But they have a little bit of a platform like Air Force. So they give you a bit of a boost if you're shorter. A little bit of height. Um, really cool kind of chunky pair of shoes. I actually do really like these. I should wear them more. Um, I just think they're quite a cool pair of trainers. Look really good with like a pair of wide leg trousers. Um, but again, you can wear them with jeans. I do think they're really nice. I haven't worn them. I think I've worn them like once. Um, but I do really like them and I think they're a really nice pair of trainers. As a white pair of classic trainers goes, I think these are a really good option. They're kind of a little bit more smart, so if you work in an office and you're allowed to wear like smart casual style and you're allowed to wear trainers, I think these are a really good option. Um, even if you want that, if you've got a very smart style but you want to wear trainers, I think these are a really good option as well. I am very casual with my style, so I find this style of trainer can be quite difficult to style for me, um, as I quite like the sporty element, but I do think they're really nice, and they're very simple, they don't scream puma, they're just a very like simple classic trainer, I really like the gold detail right here, I think that's really nice, so yeah, another good white trainer option. Whilst we're on the topic of smarter trainers, I also have these ones from Reebok, Again, very chunky, have that kind of slim, smarter element to the trainer. Very classic style, like a very kind of always a thing kind of look, you know? Like always a trend, always going to look good. And they're never going to go out of style, kind of classic style. These ones are a little bit more chunky, so they're a little bit more kind of fashion forward in that way. Um, but yeah, these ones are really, really lovely pinky colour. Not my favourite um, shade of pink, but I actually do really like the way these ones look. I think with a nice neutral outfit, they look really cool. And if you're someone who's into pink, great shoe to go for. Again, they do these in some really lovely colours. They have a white pair with like a bit of green on. Like I think the green's here or here. Beautiful. So if you like this style, then I highly recommend checking the other colours out because they're really nice. Um, and these ones are really nice, quite comfortable as well, I will say, um, which is quite good if you're looking for a pair of trainers to wear to work or, you know, like I said before, want something a little bit more smarter. Um, they're not your classic Reeboks, which I quite like, so yeah, they're really, really nice. Nice, good, classic pair of trainers. And again, they're in pink for once. 
we have a different colour pair of shoes that aren't white. Most of my trainers are white. <laughs> On to one of my favourite pairs that I have been loving recently. My Nike Dunks. I did a video on these of me unboxing them. I love these. I think they're such a good pair of shoes. They're very similar in style to the Air Force. But they're a little bit lower. They're a little bit smaller. Um, they have a very like similar look. Um, but they're just a little bit cooler, I think. Um, these are the ones in, I think the colour's called Fonto, Fonton, Fonton Dust. I'll put it on the screen. Um, I really like these. They're just a grey pair of shoes. I don't really own any grey pairs of shoes. I do now. I did it when I bought these. <laughs> um, and I just think they're really cool. I just really like the way they look with jeans. Like a pair of um, baggy jeans. And these. Really cool. Um, I just really like them. I think they're a really nice style. They're not the cheapest shoes. Because they're very hard to get hold of. I bought these off StockX. Um, and yeah. I think they were about £100. Maybe a bit more than that. 150 um, so not the cheapest, but I do love them and I'm very happy that I bought them. I think they're really cool. Really, really comfortable. I've worn them a few times and like worn them all day and been fine in them. So I really hi highly recommend these. They do them in lots of different colours. So if you're not a fan of the grey, the grey is very simple. I like a neutral, so that's why I went for the grey. But um, yeah, they're really cute. I really like them. They're one of my favourite pairs of shoes. Like genuinely obsessed with these. I really like the way they look at the back as well. They're just, they're just very simple. And again, they're quite small trainers. They're not very chunky, which is quite nice um, if you're looking for something a little bit more slim lined. Um, so yeah, I love me my little Nike Dunks. The next similar pair, which you, I haven't actually shown on here, um, but I have shown on my Instagram. So if you follow, you need to go follow me on Instagram. You would have seen these already. You miss out if you uh, don't follow me on there. Um, but I'm just trying to sort the laces out so I can make them look nice. I have a pair of Nike Jordans. So I saw these on the Farfetch website and I was like, oh my gosh, they are stunning. They didn't have my size. So then I went onto StockX and I found them. And I'm genuinely obsessed with these shoes. They are so comfortable. I can see why people buy them now because they're really, really comfortable. Um, I actually really like the high top look of them. I love the colour. Like I said before, I love green and I love green at the moment. And I think these are a really good option in terms of like adding a bit of green into your wardrobe especially into your footwear because where i do wear a lot of like light colors um on my feet other than like black boots um it's nice to have something that's a little bit different this um green part is all suede and then this is like the soft kind of leather stunning um and i love the, the little logos there i just love they came with these laces, which are like a pinky colour, um, but they also came with white and green laces as well. So um, you can go for whatever option you want, which I think is really good. So you can either have them just simple with the white laces, simple with the green laces or these. I just like these laces. I think it adds a bit of pizzazz, it adds a bit of something different, and I really like them. And they're really comfortable around the ankle. I was wearing them around um, London the other day when I was shooting, and I was like, oh, these are calm. I'm like I could wear these I could wear these for a long time and be very happy in them so highly recommend again I bought these off StockX and I think they cost me 150 I think but I can't don't quote me on that because the prices on there change all the time so highly recommend going and checking out StockX if you're looking for a pair of shoes that you cannot find anywhere else in stock because um often they'll have them there so go check them out okay it's about time we share my good old trusty Balenciaga. I love these bad boys. I do think they are one of my favourite purchases that I've ever made, especially designer purchases. I love them. I've had these for about, I want to say two or three years now, and I love them. I've worn them a lot. I have worn them almost to death. The backs of them are kind of dying a little bit um, inside, not on the outside. On the outside, they look pretty good. Um, I love these shoes. They are definitely one of my favourites that I've ever bought. Um, probably one of my go-tos as well. If I'm ever like, oh, I just need a pair of trainers, I usually know that these ones will go with my outfits. They go with dresses, they go with everything. They're not the most popular shoe of the time. A lot of people kind of gone past this whole trunky trainer style. I love them. I think they're really cool. I would highly recommend going and buying a pair if you're thinking about it. Um, but just make sure you're buying them because you know you're going to wear them and not because you think they're a trend. I have been wearing these for years. I love them and I would buy another pair if I saw a style that I liked. Um, I just think they're really cool. 
I know not everyone will agree, but I do love them. And I do think they're worth the money. Like I said, I've worn them a lot. Um, and for £600, I definitely have got my work money's worth. I've worn them probably more than any of my other shoes. So, yeah, it says it all. They're very dirty at this point. But I love them nonetheless. Do recommend them. They are expensive. So I would say maybe buy another pair of them, like the shoes that I've shown you. If you're not looking to spend that much money. But I do love them. They are my favourite little, they're not little, they're probably the biggest trainers I own, but you know, I do love them. I also had them in another colour, which I don't know how many people know that I had these. Um, I had them in this colour. These were the first ones I actually bought. I bought these ones before the white ones, and I really liked, I wore them quite a lot before I got my white ones. Um, the, I don't know what the colour of these are, and I don't know if they still sell these colour, but it's like a nude kind of grey, like a taupe with this like navy, this is dark navy, which I don't know why I bought these because I don't wear navy, but I love them. I think they're really cool and they go with certain outfits and I have debated selling them many a time, but they do just go with certain outfits and there's certain things that just make these shoes look so good. So I'm yet to part with them. I don't think I will part with them because I actually, like there are certain outfits I put on and I'm like, or these shoes just look perfect and that's the thing with a lot of my shoes is that yes I might not wear them a lot but they go with certain outfits and there's certain outfits that these kind of shoes just pop really really well with and I think that's something that is the reason why I have so many pairs because it's nice to have different options for different styles of outfits and then you've got like different shoes to always wear I love them love them a lot they actually look a little bit slimmer than these ones when you put them together like a tiny bit um kind of not really but a little bit <laughs> um but yeah i love them i have like i said had debated parting with them but i'm not ready just quite yet so yeah um oh what should we go with next okay whilst we're on designer i'm gonna show you these ones my dior babies i love my dior babies they are like my favorite pair of designer shoes I think at the moment because I think they look quite cool at this time of year because they're like a converse style I do love my Balenciagas I think they always my Balenciagas are always at the top but these ones are like my second favorite designer ones um and I love them these are spenny Dior is spenny um these are like 850 pounds which is a little bit expensive but if you like a converse style of shoe if you're into like the converse look if you've worn converse for a long time you know that you like converse highly recommend these because they'll just look like a more chic and more expensive pair of converse if you're not someone who wears converse i wouldn't necessarily recommend buying them because you might not get as much wear out of them or if you're not a big fan of converse you might not get wear out of them but i love converse and i do love these i'm yet to wear them a lot um i think it's just because i have really not been paying attention to all my shoes but I do love them I have worn them like you can see at the front they're a bit scuffed um I have worn them a few times and I do love them but I just don't want to ruin them because they're expensive but yeah love my little Dior's and the final pair of designer shoes that I have or designer trainers should I say um are my Comme de Garçons Converse so these are the last pair of Converse that I own I was going to show them earlier but they are designer so we'll stick it with the designer stuff um I guess they're designer they're kind of yeah they are designer um so these are just like the classic um truck 70 Converse um but they have this little heart detail here and they don't have the black line around here and the patch is actually different the patch is the classic Chuck Taylor patch but I love these. I actually really like the no black line around these ones. I think they look a little bit more chicer. I have worn these a few times. Really love them. Really comfortable. These ones have a white strip up the back. Um, and again, obviously, they have the red heart just on the outside, which I really like. I think they're cool. I always wanted a pair of these, like, years ago. Um, and they're not the cheapest, obviously. I think they're about £150, maybe. Um, and I finally got a pair for my birthday uh when did i get these my birthday just gone in march um just gone it was a while ago now um so yeah i really like them they're very cute i do love them i do think i want to get the kind of white colored pair at some point because they're really comfortable and they're very chic and i'm here for a bit of chicness um talking of chic vacious um these look pretty much brand new and i will have to admit they are pretty much brand new um 
I bought these because I had wanted these for years. For years, I'd seen them and I was like, oh, I really want those, but they were just a little bit out of my price range. And then I bought them and I think my style had changed a little bit and I have not worn them. Um, I do really like these though. I do think they go with certain outfits. They are a very good classic chic shoe. Um, if you're looking for something real smart for work or you have a very smart style and you want a pair of trainers, these are a really, really good option. I highly recommend these. They're very classic, very simple, but very smart looking, but also very chic. And the V's just really nice. They do this style. I think this is the Veja Campos. They do this style. Um, in many different colours, like obviously the shoe is white, but then they do these bits in different colours. So depending on what you like, these ones are grey, um, but it, depending on what you like, you go for something a bit different. But yeah, love me, Maveja Campos. Cute. We're getting down to the last ones. There's four pairs left. Um, oh, which one should I show you next? I don't know. These. These are my Nike blazers. I used to own a pair of Nike blazers back in the day, like the high top ones. Back in the day, I, they were grey and they had white ticks on them. And I loved them so much. I didn't actually ever think they would come back in fashion, but here we are. These are not the classic ones. These are like the low top ones with the platform. And I genuinely love these. So comfortable. Like, these are so comfortable. And they're just a really cool pair of shoes. Like, I really like these. They're a little bit different from your classic white trainers. I like the black tick. It's just a little bit different. If you're wearing black, it kind of ties everything in. Um, mine are really dirty. I have worn these a fair amount. Um, they're just a really comfortable pair of shoes. Again, quite slim lined. Um, but really comfortable. I really recommend these. Like, if you're wanting a pair of, like, trainers that will give you a bit of height but also are just very classic and go with everything. Really recommend. They also do these ones in like a plain white, so there's no black tick here, it's just plain white. Um, so if you don't really like the black tick, because sometimes the black tick can be a bit off-putting, but Nike blazers, low top blazers, love with a bit of a platform, so they're a little bit more cool. Yeah, love these. One of my favorite pairs actually. They do definitely beat, um, my air force sometimes i was trying to work out which ones i was thinking about they're all down there um okay uh next we have these ones i've not worn these ones a lot either love these though these are the new balance are these the three two seven three two sevens um very popular trainer actually a lot of people have these um i don't love these ones as much because they're navy and i don't wear a lot of navy navy's not my favorite color i actually probably one of my least favorite colors um and i bought these like when they first become popular and you could not get hold of them um and they would just sell out straight away um and i've just not really worn them a lot but i do really like the style of them they do look really nice for certain outfits and i do think they're quite a good pair of trainers for joggers so maybe i'll get some more wear out of them like as the winter months kick in um but yeah, I do like them. They're a really lovely neutral colour. I love the chunky kind of sole. The style of them's really nicely. The style of them's really nice. I do recommend them. I've seen them on so many people and they look really cool. And I do think they're a really nice pair of shoes. Um but yeah, I just don't really worn them a lot, which is a shame. But I do think it's purely down to the fact that they're navy. If they were black here, maybe. I just I just have this thing with navy, yet I still own things that have navy on them. Do you know what I mean? Like, what what is my problem? I don't even know. Um, my last two pairs of shoes are definitely on the same wavelength. One of them is actually new, which I'll show you last. Um, I've seen you, you've seen these ones before, but these are my Axel Arigatos. Love them. Great pair of shoes. I've actually worn them properly now, and they did hurt. I won't lie. Really rubbed my foot like just the back here, which isn't ideal, but I do actually still really like them. I think once they're like broken in, I think I'll be able to wear them all the time. I do recommend them. They are comfortable other than that. Um, that was just a bit of a, I was like, oh, these are not the comfiest things ever. But sometimes it does take a little bit of wearing in before something is comfy. And um, you kind of need to mould your foot, right? Um, but I love them. I think they're really cool. Really, really vibey pair of shoes. And I'm looking forward to wearing them a lot more. I will say, though, they've got so dirty around here already. That's probably just London for you because London is dirty. Um, but yeah, I like them. I think they're cool. They just have that very sporty, chic vibe about them. They are around £200. So they're not cheap, but they're a really lovely pair of trainers if you like that whole chunky style. You want to get that kind of um, Balenciaga style, but you don't really want to spend the money. I recommend the Axel Arigatos. They also do them in lots of different colours as well. So if you're not really the biggest fan of the grey, silver, 
have a look at the other shades that they have. Um, the last pair of shoes is very much on a similar style and I bought these fully because they always sell out. I didn't buy them because I needed them. But they are the New Balance 530s. I've wanted a pair of these for ages but I was kind of like don't need them and then I got those Axel Regato ones and I was like oh well you really don't need them and then I saw these and I was like oh but they're cute basically I really wanted the um, Balenciaga Triple S um, no not the Balenciaga Triple S Balen Balenciaga um, tracks with the orange on and these have orange on and I thought you know what I'm not going to get the Balenciaga tracks maybe I'll think about that if I want those next year I'll buy them um, but they had orange on it, it just really reminded me of them so I was like I'm going to get them because like a little bit of orange is something that I was looking for in a pair of shoes so I was like I'm going to get them um, I really like these these are classic dad trainers they sell out all the time it's so hard to get your hands on these so when you see them in your size and you like the colour of them you just got to buy them um, and I just think they're quite cute these are like silver and white um yeah i'm very happy with them i'm excited to wear them they're very comfortable i have worn them around the house and i thought wow these are comfortable i'm yet to style them up but i just thought the little splash of orange makes them a tiny bit different but they're still very classic and white as you know i like myself a white pair of trainers um so yeah i do think there'll be more trainers added to this collection um over the coming months it's just natural it's just gonna happen i have a thing with trainers and i just love trainers so much um but i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this was incisive let me know what your favorite pair of trainers was and all of them will be linked below and i'll try and find similar ones if i can't find the exact ones if you'd like me to do any styling videos on any of these shoes do let me know in the comments and i will do that um i'm thinking potentially these and maybe my dior trainers maybe or I can do dad trainers or I can do like a mix or just like white trainers styled or whatever you want let me know and I'll do them so yeah I hope you enjoyed this guys and I will speak to you all in my next video bye